Okay, if not one of the sweetest stories that I have read, I can't think of another one that compares to The Cottage by the Lock by Kennedy Kerr. Now, in the story, Zelda Hicks has recently lost her mother. I, I think her mother ran a dry cleaning store and she had a lot of good memories with her mother, but now her mother is gone. Now, she didn't know much about her father at all, other than to know that he was from Scotland. So when she gets a work trip where her boss sends her to Scotland, then maybe it's providential. Maybe there is a meaning behind it. So she goes to uh, Loch Cameron. It's a village. And when she gets there, she not only can connect to her past, deal with her grief, but also find hope for her future. Now, I mentioned how sweet this book is, right? Now, she reaches, there, there's several people that she meets, okay? One is Gretchen Ross, um, an older lady who is about to go into an assisted living facility and that gives uh, our character Zelda just a little bit of, okay, this something there. We'll leave that alone for a second. And then we have Hal Cameron. He is the laird, the property owner in that little village. And then she meets Ryan, a bookstore owner. But she gets something else out of being in Scotland. She gets, she locates a bundle of old letters. What do these letters pertain to. But then we go back to Hal, okay? Hal Cameron, okay? He was a dark, mysterious man. And those letters that she found in that wardrobe dig a little bit into Hal's past. Meanwhile, let's talk about Zelda in her life. She, she had a good job but she was a journalist. She worked for a newspaper. And she, while she's in Scotland, she something happens to her and she breaks her wrist. I think it's her wrist. And um, the job is over. But I didn't know that you can't fly. Like if you have a recent break, bone breakage with the cast, because I guess with the elevation, it can swell. I meant to look it up, but I forgot to look it up. So her workmate goes back home and she's forced to stay on at least another week until, you know, a week passes while her arm is, you know, whatever. So she calls her boss. Sorry, boss. I can't come home because I broke my arm. Well, you're not getting, that's not my problem. You're not blah, 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 blah. All right, all right, all right. I'll give you a week's vacation. Gee, thanks. Okay, so now Zelda is stuck in Loch Cameron in Scotland. Okay, but it, but that job as a journalist, it falls through because the next thing she knows, uh, our paper was bought out. Everybody's being laid off. The, the new owners are bringing in fresh blood. So now... Zelda is at a crossroads. She was already at a crossroads in her life when she lost her mother, but now she's in a foreign country without a job and pretty much nothing to go back to when she goes back to the States. But remember those characters that she met? She met Gretchen. She met Hal. She met Ryan. Now, the sweetness of this story. Why did I say the story was sweet? I found the story to be sweet, but I want to be very vague about it because there's Ryan and there's Hal, and I want you, the reader, to find out which one of those men she might possibly end up with and why. And that's where the sweetness of the story comes in. The sweetness of the story also comes in because with Zelda being at those crossroads in her life, she gets to turn her life into a different direction. And I like that somebody that lived in the United States their whole entire life can start a new life in another country. I just, I just love that freedom. 
I almost want to say innocence. But that innocence comes with a price. And that price means that Zelda has always protected her heart. And now she's thousands of miles away from home and her heart is out there for the asking. That's it. That's the sweet, sweet story by Kennedy Care. Like I already had a fabulous story. That's my favorite book for December, but now I find that I read the sweetest book so far for December. And that is this book that I love and it's called Cottage by the Lock by Kennedy Care. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get it on Kindle Unlimited, but uh, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Bye.